Okej, okay, witajcie, ja jestem Izrael, a to jest kolejny, bo bodajże już piąty, to, to jest piątkowy odcinek z Selenair, już dziesiąty. Do tej pory widzę, że seria wam się w miarę podoba, no i te, będziemy ją kontynuować, aż do znudzenia, no, aż do końca. Przypominam, że teraz dostaliśmy telefon od patologa, że mamy się spotkać z nim tutaj i on nam powie coś odnośnie tej ofiary wypadku. No one's ever laughed at one of my jokes. He was stabbed to death? Long, sharp knife. Length of a bayonet. So the hit and run was a cover-up. I'd say he was stabbed twice at very close quarters. Both wounds thrusting upwards and then pushed in front of the car. <laughs> Easy, Tiger. Clever, really. I almost missed it. The trajectory of the wounds was all wrong if he was impaled by the hood ornament. Find the knife, detectives. Yes, sir. It all comes back to the crime scene. No. We need to hit Ray's one more time and fall for evidence. Czyli jedziemy. Wow, już jest dzień. Jedziemy zbrod... na miejsce zbrodni. I tak idziemy, idziemy. A co było, gdybym poszedł tam pieszo? Cafe, race cafe, nie race. Destination, i jedziemy. Chciałem no, sprawdzić, czy tamte auto było takie same gęba, ale jednak nie. No, nie ma żadnej muzyki, niestety. Czasami się trafi. Coś fajnego poleci. Uhu. Uhu. Trust me, I'm a policeman. No, godzina później. A my sobie spędziliśmy godzinę. Co takie było? No i dobra, jeśli może być już no upartego może być tutaj ale nic nie mogę tutaj zrobić tu też nic W środku też wątpię, ale obejdźmy najpierw do koła, później też zajrzymy do środka. No i tak, oczywiście. Jest nóż. Mamy nóż. No i dobra. Czyli mamy dowód zbrodni. Czyli tak naprawdę w tym przypadku wiem skąd się wzięły te rozbryzgi wcześniej. Ok, mam jechać do. Kogo? Mm. Leroy Sabo. A. Pipo. Leroy Sabo. A, Sabo. A, dobra, teraz już był celowy. Znaczy nie celowy, ale... Myślałem, że jest escape sam. 
i najlepiej by było... Nie wiem w sumie co teraz zrobić. Tam jest telefon. Potrzebujemy mieć adres do Leroya. Przynajmniej takie mam wrażenie. A jak nie to się spytam tylko gościa. You remember what the coroner said? We don't need raise until we find the last piece of that puzzle. Aha, czyli po prostu czegoś tutaj nie zrobiłem, tak? No okej. Ale to mieliśmy nóż. I co z tym nożem? Czy on go odłożył? Nie ma, nie ma go tutaj już. Idźmy na dach. Jak Assassin's Creed. Lepiej widać wszystko z góry. Okej, okay, nie wiem co ja robię, ale tutaj się safe point włączył. Z jakiegoś powodu. O, przyszedłeś tutaj. Come to me. Advice? You remember what the coroner said? We don't leave raised until we find the last piece of that puzzle. Dobra, to idziemy jeszcze może do kafejki. Czy do kafejki? A, bo tu po prostu jest safe point. W tym miejscu. Hmm, trudne wejście. Zamknięte. To lecimy do kafejki, może będzie szef albo ktoś w tym guście. You're under arrest for the murder of Lester Patterson. Not gonna happen, fellas. Go! I'll bring the car around and head him off. No, tak. It's too late, Sabo. Nie mogę do niego strzelać. Chyba muszę czekać. Aż wszystko zostanie na czym? Muszę czekać aż. Bekowski chyba go zajedzie z drugiej strony. Ale skręcił. Ok. Myślałem, że się tu będzie czaił i sam się chciałem zaczaić. On tu już sam pobiegnie. A ten będzie wstał i pokazywał palce. To jest dobry. Tak, Reinforcements are on the way. You look spooked, Phelps. I thought you'd been under fire before. It never gets any easier, Bukowski. Have patrol pick up Mrs. Patterson. Oh, but Connets, you mean? So I give you a hit and run. You bring me back fraud, conspiracy, and first degree murder. This is how a good detective operates, Phelps. You take nothing at face value. You keep digging and asking questions until you get to the truth. You got some sharp elbows on you, detective. I like that. Keep up the good work. No, spoko. No, it seems that the missions are not that long. I'm just, I'm just going to solve them. 8 na 9, no... 
No i dobra. Dziękuję. Kolejna sprawa rozwiązana. Phelps, Chukowski. B Cop says he located a green Kaiser Fraser from the hot sheet. Address is 6 West 2nd Street. Get over there and see what you can find out. Go on. Sorry to inconvenience you. Okay. We're on it, Captain. See, I'm thinking of moving up to 45. I, want to I put swear the more vent cars we bring in, the longer the hot sheet gets. It pays the rent, though. It keeps Mrs. Phelps in the manner to which she's accustomed. I'm not sure she'd agree with you. Passionate romantic type like you, Cole? I don't believe a word. Do you read that? He's very strange. He's the polar planet. He's just someone. A wyjście jest tutaj. O, ja nie wiedziałem, że tu ma takie wydarzenie fajnie z przodu. Dobra. Dajcie mi zawrócić, co? Dziękuję. Calling her the Dahlia now. Wonder what Veronica Lake makes of that one. What a case. You hear whether they're making any progress? But Captain Donnelly seems to think they have it all wrapped up. Brown and Green are sweating this manly character. I heard it'll be in front of a grand jury by next week. Poor thing. Terrible enough being murdered like that without having to death. Strewn all over the front pages. Pogadali sobie już, więc ja się mogę odezwać. Po prostu jestem mistrzem kierownicy teraz. Ale naprawdę po paru godzinach grania już model jazdy jest ogarnięcie i przynajmniej dla mnie jest to bardzo, bardzo przyjemne. My znowu jesteśmy przy jakimś domu. That's the car, Cole. Just pulling out of the drive. Get him. Remember, we need him healthy enough to answer questions. Hmm. 1247, Detective Phelps requesting immediate backup in pursuit of a stolen green Kaiser Fraser from 6 West 2nd Street. Całe to są jakieś strasznie kruche. Szczególnie te, które się zawsze goni. One się rozpadają pod wpływem dotyku, dosłownie. <głosy> Dobra, dam mu jechać. Już? Get bracelets on him, Phelps. I'll call it in. Aha, ja z pistoletem idę. Give it up, LAPD. No brodas. Why did you run from us? I saw a big car in my rearview mirror with two tough guys bearing down on me. What would you do? What's your name? Cliff Harrison. You're under arrest. For what? What are you talking about? Nice try. I'm talking about the car being stolen. You're out of your mind. I bought the car, and I've got the paperwork to prove it. Hmm. Looks like we'll have some questions for the people at Coombs Automotive. Okay. You purchased this car from Coombs Automotive Company? Yeah, that's right. And the ownership papers? From the same place. To mi jeszcze raz, a nie, inna. If this is a forgery, it's top notch. This will need to be traced. Okay. You have a criminal record, Mr. Harrison? No, nothing like that. 
Okay. Expect us to believe you. Is that so much to ask? Who did you deal with at Coombs Automotive? The owner, Richard Coombs. And he made out the bill of sale personally? Of course he did. He kept a facsimile for his records. Check with him. We're going to get to the bottom of this, Harrison. Until we do, you're going downtown. You gotta be kidding me. I'm getting arrested for buying a goddamn car? If everything is legit, Harrison, you'll be out soon. Until then, if I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut. Bag his possession of his evidence and have him arraigned for Grand Theft Auto. Right, Detective. Do you know who my father is? <laughs> we need to get to Coombs Auto and check out Harrison's story. Всем собі тим гаутким поїхати, а відвідати не есмі туди на. Вас ще раз мені вичаще смс і. Some of the most convincing people you will ever listen to are born liars. Usually they're called politicians. <laughs> Paperwork all looked above board, and he seemed like a clean-cut kid. Uh huh. I get it now. You see some kid who's basically you five years ago, and assume he's got to be. Can we try to get there in one piece? Spoke. I'm more than happy to be proved wrong. Sorry. If he'd been black or Hispanic, you'd be singing a different tune. You spout all this communist crap about treating everybody the same, but it only works one way. I'm not sure that's communism, Stefan. Oh, God, please. Not another history lesson from the man who single-handedly won the war. Are you finished? Yes. I feel much better now. We'll shake down the car dealer and take it from there. Unless his daddy plays golf with yours, of course. In which case, we'll give him a firm gentleman's handshake and be on our way. See? I knew you weren't finished. Thanks, Rocco. Ale sobie, ale po sobie jadą. Znaczy w sumie nie, to ten Bukowski bardziej tak na jeszcze na Felpsa. Ale jest wydaje mi się takie przyjacielskie. W miarę przynajmniej. A tymczasem jedziemy sobie do tego Kombowska. Tak to było. Rob Combo. Nie wiem, to mi się wydaje. Combs, nie Combs, tylko Combs. No ale się czai chłopak. On chyba wie, że coś jest nie tak. Not another step. I have got a Buick Century sedan that would be absolutely perfect. Detective Phelps, LAPD, are you the owner? That's right. Richard Coombs at your service. You looking to trade in a black and white boys? <laughs> Mr. Coombs, we're investigating an auto theft. A man by the name of Cliff Harrison claims he bought the car here. Well, uh, some people would say that my cars are a steal. That's a joke, son. Very amusing, Mr. Coon. I remember Harrison. It was a green two-tone Kaiser Fraser, if I remember rightly. Do you have the bill of sale? It's in my office. Walk this way. That's a joke, too, son. Phelps, you mind if I shoot this guy? He's getting on my nerves. Dokładnie podzielam stanie Wekowskiego. Ale się wystrzeżył. Here it is. Got the original pink slip there too. Stuff. Archer, 146 North Fremont Avenue. Okay. Harrison's purchase receipt was legit, at least. We have a couple of questions. <laughs> All right, fellas, shoot. 
Can you tell us how you came to buy the car? Girl just wandered in right off the street. <laughs> Nothing unusual about the car. Not really my usual type of vehicle. The price was certainly right, though. Nice girl, but about as sharp as a bag of wet mice. Did you pay with check or cash? A check. She wanted it made out to cash, but I insisted. Man has to watch his cash flow. What name? I made it out to Gene Archer on the Bank of Arcadia. Okay. Can you describe this Gene Archer? Brunette, maybe 25, 26. A little on the plump side, but not bone ugly. What was your impression of her? Kind of harried and harassed. In a hurry to go somewhere, but no place to go. You get to know the type. Do you know anything about the company that prints these pink slips? Nope. Should I? It isn't exactly my business. It says Marquee Printing. You've never heard of them? Marquee. Sure. They do all the government red tape. You'll find the place down on Aliso Street near San Pedro. Chink. That's a key sticky. When exactly did you hand over the check, Mr. Combs? Close of play on Friday. Hmm. So with okay. the banks closed over the weekend, though, I might be able to stop payment. This was all above board. Yes, of course it was. Did this look legitimate to you, Coombs? I'm in used cars, son, not bearer bonds. In my business, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Now don't come on all high and mighty with me if you want my help. Thanks for your help, Mr. Coombs. We need to continue the investigation. Hope you sort out your problem with Mr. Harrison. Go easy on him, son. Boy's about as sharp as a bowling ball. He's built too low. Fastballs fly over his head. Let me shoot this guy, please. You have a pleasant day, Mr. Combs. <laughs> no spoko. Teraz tylko liczę na save'a. Szybkiego. Well, Harrison might be off the hook, but we can still run an APB on Gene Archer. Get on the horn and call it in. No, but if that's why you make through the tickle. Yucky jumper. I survived the war for this? Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? Requesting an APB on Gene Archer, age approximately 25, on suspicion of Grand Theft Auto. I'll relay the information. Are there any messages for me? A James Velasco is being held at Central Station on suspicion of GTA. <laughs> to the Harrison case. They're waiting on you to conduct the interview. Thank you. No i dobra. Następny raz mamy dwa miejsca, gdzie możemy się udać. Będziecie to, albo trzy. Teraz sobie już siedzi w autku. Dobra. Dołączamy do... O właśnie, trzy miejsca. Idziemy na policję. Tam jakiś koleś nas czeka. Here's a chicken and egg question for you. Do you think you have to be an asshole to sell cars? Or that selling cars turns you into an asshole? You've got it in for everyone today, haven't you? I've always got it in for car sales. Doesn't matter what day it is. And why do they always think they're comedians when they're about as funny as a heart attack? Maybe the more annoying they are, the quicker you sign on the dotted line. Just to get the hell out of there. Okay, so it's a true classic spot, but... Mimo wszystko, nawet jakby nie zaczęły spadać, to ja i tak miałem zamiar kończyć ten odcinek w tym momencie, więc wiedzę sobie tutaj ładnie. No i to tyle. Mam nadzieję, że ten odcinek Wam się podobał. Znowu mimo faili, ale on ma minę. Patrzcie, patrzcie jakie oni mają miny. Bekowski jeszcze ma w miarę normalną, ale Phelps taki skrzywiony siedzi. Trochę. No dobra, nieważne. Mam nadzieję, że Wam się podobało. No i trzymajcie się. Cześć.